Hey guys, this is Leah with Scott Leroy Marketing. In today's tip video, I'm going to show you how you can create opportunity checklists. All right, so the idea is you can create uh, action items within each of your opportunity phases to help remind you of the steps that needs to happen, you know, when your uh, client is under contract, if they're in the appointment phase, active phase, and so forth, okay, and what action items you need to move them along the pipeline. All right, so let's take a look at that. First things first, we need to log into command. So I'm on agent.kw.com to log into command. And on the left hand side, so we're going to pay attention to this left hand side command menu. We want to go ahead and click on the opportunities section. Right, the opportunities icon looks like a handshake. And just a note, if you click on the KW logo on the top left, it will pan out this menu so you can see which item is which as you start to learn the navigation in command. All right, so about halfway down, we are clicking on the icon uh, that looks like a handshake. And this is the opportunities section of KW command. If that sounds like a foreign language to you, let me explain what this section will do for you. So it's a very cool visual tool, the, the opportunity section of KW Command. It's going to show you your pipeline, so one for listing, buyers, and leases. All right, so you'll have your three pipelines here. And you'll see that within each pipeline, we have uh, five phases. Cultivate, we're growing the relationship. They're moving on to an appointment active, under contract, and our favorite phase, closed, okay? And so you're easily able to see from this pipeline how many transactions or how many opportunities do I have in each phase, and then to take this a, a step above that, and what I'm going to show you today, is you can create action items or to-do lists within each one of these opportunity phases uh, so they're action items of what do I need to do to move this transaction along my pipeline, right? What do I need to do to move them from just cultivating the relationship to an actual appointment? What action items do I need to do to move them from an appointment to the active phase, right? So this uh, will show you how to go ahead and do that. Just a heads up, these checklists would have to be created under each one of these um, separately, each, each phase separately and on each pipeline separately. All right, so in order to start creating those, you can go ahead and click on the first phase, let's say, if I want to go ahead and, and click on my buyer pipeline here. All right, that will take you into the buyer pipeline. So I'm in the buyer pipeline. I see my phases at the top right here. And okay, we have cultivate, appointment, active, under contract, and close. Same as we were seeing on the opportunity pipeline, on the opportunity dashboard. And then within each of the opportunity phases, we have uh, stages, all right? And yours might be named something different, okay? Because I have customized mine, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment here. But we do have stages, so you'll see the three stages here within each phase. And once the uh, opportunity travels down the pipeline, through each one of these stages, they will then make it to the appointment. Okay, and so you'll see I can move my opportunity down the pipeline by clicking on the dots, the six dots on the edge of the opportunity. And now if you have not created an opportunity quite yet, you can do so by clicking Create Opportunity on the top right so you can start practicing. And if you would like a, a more detailed class on the Opportunities Pipeline, I do have that on slmtraining.com. There'll be a full class on Opportunities specifically. However, in this class, what I want to show you, in this little tip, I want to show you the option to edit stages on the top right and add action items or to-do list items within each Opportunity stage. So on the top right here, we have the option to edit stages. So again, in case I lost anyone, I'm just clicking on edit stages on the very top right of your command account. From here, it will take me to the stage names. And again, I've customized those, so yours will probably say something different. And checklist items on the right-hand side. 
So if I want to edit any of these names, so if you want to go ahead and update that, you can do so by clicking the pencil icon. You know, if you want to rename that to something that makes sense to your business, feel free. Feel free to use what I have. I make an acquaintance for six to 12 months out, build a relationship three to six months out from buying, and then ready to buy, looking now. All right, you can always pause the video if you want to go ahead and update that. And you just click the pencil icon to the right of each one to do that right away. Now, for this one, though, let's go ahead and click on, if, if you haven't edited this, it will have zero out of zero items. So we can create ch checklists or action items for each one of these phases. All right, so when this opportunity is in the make acquaintance six to 12 months out phase, what, or stage, excuse me, what action items do I need to do to move them to the next stage? All right, so that's the thought here. So that pencil icon, oh, sorry, wrong thing. I'm gonna go ahead and click on, it might say zero out of zero items if you haven't edited this, or I have five in there, so I'll go ahead and click on that, whatever that teal link says. And this is where I can go ahead and create action items. So for example, get the phone number of the lead, right? And so where we are right now, we're in the cultivate section, right, of the pipeline. So cultivate, you're thinking of growing the relationship, right? If you wanna think like you were standing in a grocery store wearing your name tag, like a good realtor that you are, and someone came up and asked you about the market today. Come to find out they're looking at buying in the next year. So you added them as an opportunity to your pipeline. And now what action items do I need to do in order to take this relationship from an acquaintance to more of a trusting relationship, right? This is their biggest asset that they're going to be selling with you or buying with you, right? What action items do I need to do to build trust with my client? Okay, I always try to think that as my first starting steps, if that helps guide you in creating to-do list items. So get phone number of the lead, right? That'd be a good, a great one to, uh, um, complete the contact record. All right, same with email of the lead. Now I'm just adding items right here, clicking add item. All right, I'm still six to 12 months out, right? So it's not very soon that he's looking at buying, but I can go ahead and add other items like get his neighborhoods and his contact record. So maybe the, in, the places he's interested in, add him to a smart plan and so forth. And feel free to pause the video, guys, if you are working on adding other to-do list items. And you can click Save. And just a heads up, I'll link this to the uh, uh, under the description of this YouTube video. So if you want to go ahead and click on, I think it says like view more details under this description. Um, I will put, I have a template on different ideas for checklist items for the buyer's pipeline that another agent graciously shared with me. So I'll hyperlink that for you guys. It's just a shared Excel sheet that gives you guys ideas for checklist items. So I'll go ahead and click save, right? And then I can move on to the next set of checklists, right? For the next phase. So what action items do I want to do in the next one, right? And all I do to edit that is I'm simply clicking on whatever it says, zero out of zero items, zero out of four, right? If you've added them before, right? So this, maybe here I'm in the second stage, I'm working on, you know, building more of the relationships, setting them up on smart plans, adding them on social profiles like Facebook, right? Doing that too soon can be a little creepy, right? So I like to space that out a little bit. So I've built the relationship up a little bit via text or uh, email or phone first before adding them on Facebook, personal preference, All right? So wherever you feel comfortable doing that, I think that's a great thing to add to your checklist. If you use Facebook for your business, send a video text, so forth, okay? And click save, All right? So you can go down through the entire pipeline and add checklist items for each and every uh, stage within your pipeline. So to give you an idea of what else you can do with it, I'm going to click on back to buyers, cultivate on the very top left. It's a small blue link right here and that'll take you back to your pipeline. So, you know, just to expand on ideas for checklist items, you know, especially when you get under contract and your real work begins of, you know, needing to set up the inspection or set up the appraisal. You know, we do, there are stages for that and under contract. So you can create action items for each 
you know, same thing that we were just doing by clicking edit stages, you know, to remind you to do the, you know, set up the appraisal, let's say. So I'm going to go ahead and just add that real quick for you guys. So I clicked on edit stages on the top right. Then I can click on zero out of zero here, right? Let's say I want to, and then this one, we're going to add item, set up inspection, save. Um, let's say I need to call the inspector, whatever the case may be, whatever items you need to do. And as you can see, you can move around the checklist items as well by clicking on the dots on the left hand side. And you can always edit or delete that after as well. By clicking on the three dots to the far right of that checklist item. All right, so just a heads up, now once your opportunity gets to these phases, right, so I'm clicking on this link again on the top left to get back here. I'm just going to go back to one that already has some added in. Uh, just a heads up, if you have an opportunity in one of the stages that you created checklist items for and you're not seeing that pop up immediately, um, that generally does take like five minutes. This one might have already popped up. Um, it generally takes about five minutes for the checklist items to display. So just a heads up on that. So for example, now I see right here, I see for this opportunity, for example, one out of one has been completed. And if I click on that, I would be able to see all of my action items. Now let's talk about the different places that you will see these opportunity tasks. So typically you will have to go into the opportunity to see these tasks unless you set a due date. So for example, let's say in this one I, I set a task of I want to get the email of the contact, whatever it is, or I want to send them a text tomorrow. All right, let's say send text asking about weekend, all right, whatever it might be. I'll set the date, set the due date. I want that to be tomorrow. Send text, all right, so I'm going to save. Okay, so if I go ahead, whoops, got this due date saved. All right, there's a due date. Didn't save the first time for some reason. But I now see the due date, so double check your work, that you see the due date right here. So as long as you set a due date, you'll then be able to see the opportunity task within the task section of command. So if I close that, I will now be able to see the tasks on the left-hand side menu here. So these is, this is where all your tasks sit for the system. So these are your contact tasks. And if you're still trying to find the task section, that looks like a little to-do list on the left-hand side menu. Off default, you'll see your contact tasks first, but if you click on opportunity tasks on the top, it will show you any that you have set for in the near future. Okay, and this takes a minute to display. Um, it typically doesn't pop up right away. I see about a five minute rule as far as these updating and the opportunities. This is a general rule of thumb. So you should see that update there for you. Here's one I did earlier today. Oh. Let's see, next seven days, there we go. So you can always change this up here as well to see future tasks, but it'll default on task due today. All right, and also lastly, just to leave you with, I also have been getting notified of my tasks that are due. Um, I have the Kelly app on my phone and it notifies me uh, near the morning uh, that I have a certain amount of tasks due for the day so that I can go in and make sure to do those. All right, so I would definitely recommend downloading the Kelly app to your phone so you're notified of these tasks as well. All right, guys, if you have any questions on this, please do not hesitate to reach out to me, support at scottlavorymarketing.com. If this piqued your interest and you want more details on the Opportunity Pipeline, I would highly suggest going to slmtraining.com for the full Opportunities class. All right, guys, let us know if you have questions, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.